Today, let's talk about self-employment, one of my favorite tax topics for a few reasons. Self-employment is by far the largest employment sector and the fastest growing. The tax laws are favorable and it offers some of the best tax rules and tax benefits. But if you don't know them, you're likely paying too much in taxes. It's that simple. Let's cover the most common questions for those who are self-employed full-time, part-time, or plan to be, or have been. Who qualifies as self-employed? Well, with over 40 million self-employed workers by some estimates, it's more common than it's ever been in the past. And that's not just due to employment changes brought on by COVID-19. The IRS has a formal, complicated description, but basically, if you don't have someone telling you when to work, and you're paid for the job rather than for your time, you're likely considered self-employed instead of an employee, at least in the eyes of the IRS. And if you're part-time self-employed, or do work on the side, for example, even with another full-time or part-time job somewhere else, you might not know that you get to take advantage of a bunch of benefits that employees don't generally get. What deductions should I look for? Well, there seem like a million rules that apply to the self-employed, many of which are really fabulous rules that help small business owners jumpstart their businesses. But unless you're a tax pro, you might not know them all and might be paying too much in taxes, draining your business of much needed profits. A few examples include the Qualified Business Income Deduction, or the QBI. It's relatively new, and it's one of the biggest deductions. This one allows self-employed taxpayers to deduct up to 20% of their qualified business income before income taxes are even determined. And then there's the deduction for one half of your self-employment tax. This one allows taxpayers to take an above-the-line deduction of 50% of whatever they pay in self-employment tax. And even better, only self-employed taxpayers can actually deduct their home office expense. There are many smaller deductions, like insurance, phone bills, supplies, or gifts not to be missed, as they're all deductions. And all of these things have one important point in common. They reduce your taxes and allow you to keep more of your money. How to prepare and pay your taxes? The tax laws require us to prepay taxes in one of two ways. Through withholdings, like employees do, or through estimated tax payments, which self-employed people do. On April 15th, or tax days, taxpayers simply true up with the IRS by filing their tax return and paying any taxes owed or a balance due or getting a refund from the IRS. But whether you're an employee or self-employed, you need to pay taxes as you earn your income. Being self-employed, you'll generally do this by making estimated tax payments. You'll need to estimate your taxes after your deductions and after your credits for the year, then divide the estimated payments into four quarterly tax payments and pay them throughout the year. So be sure to keep good records and consider working with a tax pro to make sure you don't miss out on valuable credits and deductions and pay the minimum amount you owe. And finally, beware of underpaying your estimated taxes, as you may have to pay a penalty if you do it wrong. So if you're full or part-time self-employed, get help with your taxes at jacksonhewitt.com. It can help you and help your business grow faster. Plus, it's what all the smarter people are doing. 